Hey there, and welcome to My Mundo, My Rules. I'm Mundo, and for this episode, I would like to share to you my thoughts on the best mask to use for regular non-medical people like us during this COVID-19 pandemic. But before we start, please click the like button if you find this video relatable in any way and uh, share this to your friends. And also, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. So today, I will reconfirm if the masks that we have been using for more than a year now are the best ones to use, especially with the evolving COVID-19 strains, according to my mundo, my rules. But first, let's lay down the purpose of why we need to wear masks in the first place. We all know that the COVID-19 virus spreads from person to person through respiratory droplets, which may become airborne when one coughs, sneezes, laughs, or uh, even as mundane as plain talk. Our masks serve as barriers against the virus, which means everyone should wear their mask properly and responsibly. Here are the rules on how to wear your mask properly. Rule number one. Your mask should cover your nose and mouth without any gaps. This is the first and most important rule since the purpose of wearing masks is to prevent the transmission of the virus via nose and mouth. Hence, masks must cover these parts of our faces. It is important to remember that we should breathe in and out with the air within our masks. Our masks should have adjustable ear loops as well, just to give us this snug fit. It is also for this rule that wearing of bandanas is not really advisable because bandanas do not really cover the bottom part of our faces. And also masks with exhalation valves are really not advisable because these types allow your respiratory droplets to escape into the air. Rule number two. Your mask should not be open at the bottom. To prevent the spread of the virus, masks should be effective at keeping, again, your respiratory droplets and particles from escaping into the air. Hence, if your masks are open at the bottom, you may inadvertently release your droplets at the bottom of your mask. Rule number three. Masks should have at least two to three layers. We know that droplets can be very minuscule. Hence, it is important that your mask, whatever type it is, should have significant barriers to prevent the virus from coming through. Thus, your masks must have at least two to three layers. If you think you don't have as much layer as you need, then you can actually add filters such as this. Now, because of this rule, gaiters worn through the head are not advisable because usually these do not have two to three layers and they are made of elastic cloth. Rule number four. Your mask should have a bendable border at the top to fit your nose. It is important for people like me who wear eyeglasses to prevent it from fogging. And I know how annoying this moisture buildup can get. Apart from preventing such eyesore, as rule number one says, your mask should cover your face without any gaps. Rule number five, low environmental impact. With priorities shifting to making sure that lives are protected and kept safe, this pandemic has made us increase our use of plastics and single-use materials. Restaurants now offer plastic utensils in takeaway plastic or paper boxes intended for single-use and hospital wastes are now doubling because of this pandemic. The masks that we regular non-medical folks use should not add to these wastes, which means the masks that we should use should be reusable and sustainable. Now that we've laid down these five rules, let us see if the following masks 
conform with the rules we have just laid down. First up are cloth masks. These are very common and very trendy nowadays. And even you can make your own cloth mask. And we can do that in another separate video. So subscribe to this channel for more of those. Studies show that cloth masks may be worn and are actually effective in preventing the spread of the virus. However, one must remember that for a cloth mask to be effective, it must pass the light test. If you hold up the mask to the light, you should not be able to see the outline of the individual fibers of the cloth. If you do, then you must add another layer, or better yet, add filters to your cloth mask. Now, since the beginning of the pandemic, I've always been sporting my cloth masks to match, well, my outfit and my mood for the day. For a non-medical frontliner like myself, as long as they fit the bill according to my five rules, then cloth masks are pretty fine by me. Next up are copper masks. These have indeed become a trend and is apparently based on studies that copper has natural antimicrobial properties which kill viruses within contact within hours. In fact, some doors in hospitals are made with copper or have some copper content because of this characteristic. However, if we go back to the reason why we need to wear masks in the first place, and if we go by the rules, the use of copper masks, which is open at the bottom, will not really contain the virus. I've seen a few friends using their copper masks for a few hours, and I do really see moisture build up in the lining. And they did really say that these do drop off at the opening at the bottom. And for someone like me who can get a little stingy, I need something more affordable and reusable and sustainable. Next one is the N95 masks. N95 masks are called N95 because it is proven to prevent 95% of particles from entering your nose and mouth. Although this seems ideal and that you should wear an N95 mask to ensure your safety, the reality is that there is a scarcity of stocks for N95 masks. And as we've heard health experts over and over again, it should just be reserved for medical frontliners. The fourth one, which I think is the most common, is the surgical mask. These are single-use masks which protect us from droplets that could enter our mouths or noses or vice versa. What is important is that you should make sure that it fully covers your nose and your mouth. Hence, if you wear your surgical mask, you should remember to adjust the ear loops properly and to make sure that there are no gaps. Here is one technique to make sure that your surgical mask has a snug fit and without gaps. Fold your mask crosswise, letting the top and the bottom meet like this. Tie off the ear loops at the part nearest the mask. Adjust the nose part to fit your nose. Fold in these edges as so. And there you have it. I have used a few of these surgical masks during the pandemic. And we even have a few, well, quite a few boxes of unused surgical masks in the house. But I have a thing where I only use them when I need to go to the dentist or my doctor's appointment. As my conscience would tell me that I will just be throwing this away after one use. Also, before throwing these away, you have to snip off the ear loops to make sure that if ever these get blown away to the sea or wherever, it will lessen the chances of having wildlife getting entangled in them. A study published in the Elsevier Public Health Emergency Collection reports that surgical masks and medical waste generated in Asia alone is now 16,600 tons per day and an estimated 2.2 billion masks are used by Asians every single day. But really, as I'm pretty sure that the disposal of these surgical masks are not well managed at all, I'd rather use something reusable and sustainable than add to these kinds of wastes. So, there you have it, 
my mundo, my rules, five rules in choosing the perfect mask for a perfect match. It has been a year since the outbreak of this pandemic, and even with the vaccines, new strains continue to evolve every day. Cases continue to pile up, and even the death toll as well. But still, we have to make a living and continue on with our daily lives in this new normal. As this is our barrier from the virus, wear your masks properly and responsibly. For comments and suggestions, key them in in the comment section below. This is My Mundo, My Rules, a space where we talk about the different worlds that we live in revolve in and the rules we have to keep in mind to make the most out of them. So, this is Mundo, and I'll see you next time. Bye!